Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the change in demand for water in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Almost half of the UK's water supply is for domestic use. This means in our homes. In the home there are many ways in which we use water, such as washing, drinking, cooking and cleaning, flushing the toilet and showering. However, one fifth of all UK water is wasted through leakage. This is the second biggest use of water after households. The UK demand for water is growing for a number of reasons. Firstly, due to the increasing population. And secondly, and linked to this, is the fact that far more new homes are being built. Thirdly, we have seen an increase in water intensive domestic appliances such as washing machines and dishwashers. And finally, changes in personal hygiene plays a part. Most people now shower several times a week, whereas in the past, when houses did not have inside bathrooms, a weekly bath shared by family members was the norm. In the UK, on average, we use around 150 litres of water a day. So let's think about supply and demand. The main sources of water in the UK are rivers, reservoirs and groundwater aquifers, which is water held in rocks below the ground. The UK receives enough water to supply the demand, but it doesn't always fall where it is most needed. The north and the west of the UK has a water surplus. This is where supply exceeds demand. There is high rainfall, lower evaporation rates and plenty of potential reservoir sites. These areas also have a relatively low population density, whereas the south and the east of the country has a water deficit, where demand exceeds supply. This is the most densely populated part of the country and it has the lowest annual rainfall. Those areas suffering from serious water deficit issues are said to be experiencing water stress. This is a temporary inability to meet the water needs of the population, either because there is not enough water or the water is poor quality following contamination. Although it rains a lot in the UK, this rainfall is quite unreliable and we do experience periods of drought where the rainfall is well below average. During these times, we sometimes see restrictions to our water use such as hose pipe bands that stop non-essential uses of water, such as watering gardens and washing cars. Finally, we need to think about water conservation. There are lots of ways to manage the issues of UK water supply and demand. We can save water by installing domestic water meters, which means that you pay for every drop that you use, which makes a lot of people much more careful about not wasting water. We can also use recycled water, which is known as grey water. This is water that has come from sinks, baths, showers or washing machines and dishwashers. It's good for irrigation as it contains nitrogen and phosphorus. However, it is not very safe to store as it quickly goes very stagnant. Another way is to ensure that you are buying more efficient appliances, such as low flow toilets and washing machines that use less water to complete their cycles. And there, of course, are easy wins such as turning off the tap when you're brushing your teeth and using showers instead of baths. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the changing demand for water in the UK. Thank you for watching.